So guys, damn for bad gaming. And today, as you can tell, we're not reviewing a game for once. What I've decided to do, because I'm getting old, is a testosterone test. These test kits can be bought online for various amounts of money with various companies out there. I found this one by watching another YouTuber, that gear guy, link is below, he's a cool dude. Uh, I'm no way affiliated with him, I'm no way affiliated with the company involved in it, but if you go to his channel, underneath his latest video for testosterone testing, he has a code that can get you a discount. I used it, it gets him a little bit of a bonus as well, which is always good for him, but it put the price about 30 quid. Not bad, can't go wrong with that, right? So today we're gonna do the test. So the reasons you might ask, why am I doing a test? So I'm 37 years old, as you may well know, once you get to 30, as a bloke, your testosterone levels slowly start to plummet. For me personally, I have a very serious health condition. It's bladder related, won't get too much into the details, but basically I suffer from crippling pain, severe bladder spasms, issues such as that. One such side effect I ended up with was gigantic bladder stones. It was more than an inch, it was massive. As you can imagine, caused some serious issues. We ended up shoving something like this down the pipe and and you can imagine the trauma that was. <laughs> God damn it, Halsey, I'm still! And I was awake when they did it. Oh, hang on. Oh, hey, Doctor. Mm -hmm. What do you mean it's not a pipe in size? More of a glowworm? How dare you! You son of a bitch! Let's find out what my testosterone results are like. Uh, plus points for me, mine are low. One of the treatments, believe it or not, for my at least bladder condition, in America at least, is TRT. I think my results are gonna be absolutely fine. I don't think I've got any issues particularly. I've had them tired all the time, but it's worth testing. So yeah, let's find out. So the company I've gone with is called Optimail. Again, not getting paid for this, paying my own money, not affiliated with them whatsoever but very good reviews online. So let's get cracking with it. Optimal Capillary Blood Collection Kit Gold. Gold! Don't know what the gold's for, but you know. So this does involve taking a bit of a blood sample and it doesn't look great fun, but it's gotta be done. There's a little stabby stabby lancets. Again, I might not be using these. Well, I'll use them to begin with to show you how it works. And if I find it's too slow, because the one thing I have noticed online, it can take up to 15 to 20 minutes to squeeze enough blood out of your finger. So I might be finding another method censored for YouTube. There's our instructions. And here is the vial. Send it all back in this packaging. The whole thing goes neatly back in this packaging and you send it back. So the idea is, general idea, collect blood, put blood in this vial, send it back in the sample collection bag, uh, pretty much just goes in the post same day, so you got to make sure you do this between 9 and 11 o'clock in the morning, ideally closer to 9, and send it off the same day, before 12, ideally. Make sure the postman can get it out there. And they recommend a Monday to a Wednesday, obviously, because the labs are closed on a Friday, so you want to make sure you get your test results back accurately. So uh, once we do get the results back, we will do another video, so let's get to the bloodletting slash torture. So with this thing, it's literally a case of press on your finger, in you go immediate blood, hopefully. That's the plan. So I recommend being on the inside of your ring finger. I'm a guitarist occasionally, so I'm not gonna use this one. I'm gonna try and do it on this finger. And it's recommended to stab it about there. And then hopefully we can squeeze the blood out. We're gonna try it anyway, so yeah. Because they haven't provided me anything to actually stick this in without it falling over, because I know my luck, I'll fill it and whoosh, and I'll have to drain most of my blood from my body. I'm going to use a sponge and my trusty knife. There's a top tip for you. Get yourself a sponge, stab a hole in it, stick your bottle in there. Problem there is you can't quite see how much to fill it up with, but you just fill it up until it's full of blood, right? Get your wipe, undo your bottle lid. You might have to do that before you put it in. There we go. Quite tight lid that. Keep everything as sterile as possible. Clean and wipe. Clean that finger good. Mr. Lancet. Ah! Okay, it's not actually that bad, so. One little stab, and then we'll start bloodletting. And then my problem is they recommend to slowly massage your finger, etc, etc. Try and get the blood out a bit quicker. For me, I've always found I don't bleed very well, so 
The other thing I do recommend doing is giving it a quick wipe. Such, there will be blood in this video, should have warned you. There's a drop, here we go, he's starting to go. And we basically let gravity do the rest. The other thing I recommend is also to stand up doing this. I'm half a cripple, so I won't be doing that. I'm just going to be blood draining. So, we could time lapse this, we won't. I'm either going to squeeze the blood out, or I'll find another method to make the blood come out a bit quicker. Again, do it the right way, don't do it the damn way. And when this vial's full, we'll come back here. So after a lot of stabby stabby action, I find these things are pretty useless. Ignore the plaster, I definitely didn't get blood from there. So basically these things, you press them in, study your finger, uh, didn't get a lot of blood out of there. So uh, yeah, find another method. So basically, you fill your vial, that's the top line, I've gone a little bit over, but whatever. Yeah, there's enough blood in there now. And this gets sent off to the lab. So you've got to push the lid back on pretty tight, make sure it's on, it ain't going nowhere. And this thing will go into the bag. Very crucial to remember to put on your little labels, otherwise it will not accept your blood sample test. So let's see if I can get it on somewhat that way. They know whose blood's who. If you send it off without that, you will not get your sample back. So bear that in mind. Once you've done that, that can go in your little bag. So I suggest pinching it because it's pretty hard. It's all trying to stick itself together. Drop your little sample in. One sample ready. Nice and secure. I'll fill in my details from contact details. Push on this side. Kaboom. And this thing goes into post. So there we go. Let's find out what my testosterone results are like. We'll see you next time for the results. Remember to like and subscribe. Follow the journey.